Well, part of our strategy and the strategy of the Board of Regents is to expand the Medical College of Georgia's class in multiple campuses across the state, geographically separated areas. This allows us to train students in parts of the state that they may be from or parts of the state where they may want to practice in the future. We basically believe that the university system needed to, in fact, educate more physicians. And as I think most people know, that the opportunities for increasing the number of physicians ed educated in MCG um, is very difficult given the uh, large number they have right now. And so through those discussions and with the Board of Regents and with the governor, uh, we created the uh, MCG UGA Medical Partnership. So the Interim Medical Partnership Building is an old uh, cotton and wool mill. It uh, was built in 1858, and the architects at the University of Georgia have done a spectacular job in renovating the building and leaving as much of the old as they could and really refitting it with all the updated technology needed for a modern medical school. So this is where the medical campus will be until we are prepared to move to the Navy campus. The first goal of the Partnership Campus, of course, is to educate outstanding medical students. And so as part of Medical College of Georgia, in collaboration with UGA, we ultimately want to educate the best quality physician that one can for the state of Georgia. So Steve, I got a few things I want to talk to you about. They are choosing people, I think, who uh, find education as the real motivator for what they do. And I think that programs like this that are going to be so tightly um, bound to the community, they're going to be teaching students out in the community a lot, have the capacity to produce a lot of primary care physicians or people who are interested in primary care. I started working with Dr. Wells at the beginning of August. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, he has a, a lot to teach us about not only medicine but how to run a successful private practice, how to be organized in your day and make sure you move through your clinic efficiently. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hopefully they learn something about internal medicine, but I hope the more they learn how to interact with the patients and how to treat the patients and continuity of care, that there's more to the patients than just their hypertension, their diabetes, that there's their life. Deep breath. I see patients here that I've seen every week now for the last month to track them all the way through, getting them better. With Dr. Wells here, he has you go in and see the patients by yourself, do everything as if you were doing it, come out and give him a report, and then you get to see firsthand right there yeah, exactly. what you would have done different, why you'd do something differently, things like that. Sean's a great guy, and uh, the patients love him. You know, I've had a couple tell me when I retire, they hope he comes back to practice in Athens. Thank you. I think he'll be a bright one, and I know he will, following Dr. Wells. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you know, being a preceptor, is um, seeing people come back. In fact, one of the very first students I have is now in private practice ophthalmologist here in Athens. And so, you know, you've done something to benefit the community directly.